Hey everyone, it's Alec. I just wanted to talk about some of the changes that came to the new release, Proteus, which came out today, which is January 13th, Tuesday, 2015. And uh, as you can immediately see, one of the cool changes that came out is the Astrid belts now have a more realistic look and feel to them. They, they as in being CCP, added... A bunch of space rocks just floating around the asteroid belts around the actual asteroids themselves. So, um, I think it's cool, although it, you can't really interact with them. Interacting meaning you can't. If you fly towards one of them, you're gonna fly through it as if it doesn't exist, as you can tell here. However, uh, when you see the other second, the cool added feature as you can tell from here the light rays don't penetrate through them as if they exist so uh here's a an example right there you can see the sun's being blocked by these particles that you can fly through so it adds a lot of realism to it that's really cool but another one feature that i would like to see is being able to bump into them and they bump away from you like in real life space so that'd be really cool to add but still i'm happy with the changes i think it's pretty neat and uh the real quick if you want to actually add these changes you have to click us or type escape push the escape button click on display and graphics and uh when you after you download the patch it's gonna look like this asteroid environments and light rays will not be checked you're gonna have to actually check them yourselves and I'm not sure if you have to click apply or not, but uh, I don't think you have to. And then you just close. Uh, I was in the asteroid belt already when I did that, and they didn't just magically appear out of nowhere. I had to actually dock up and then undock and warp back to this belt in order to be able to apply these changes or to see them in their full effect. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to see these, but... Uh, Overall, I think it's pretty neat, and uh, this is one of the really cool changes that I actually like, even though it doesn't really change the gameplay too much other than just visuals of it, but I, I think it's great. It adds to the beauty of EVE. So, another major change they made to EVE Online in this Proteus release is... Recon and combat ships. So for those of you who don't know, they are two they are T2 cruiser variants. And uh the main thing they changed that everybody's talking about that actually mostly affected the prices for recon ships is the combat recon ships can now they are now immune to D scan. So let me show you real quick. The curse is the combat recon ship. Uh, as you can see from here, roll, bo roll bonus cannot be detected by directional scanners. And the pilgrim in this case is the force recon sh cruiser that uh, it what it can do is it can actually fit a covert ops cloaking device and a covert cyano field generator if you need it. And it also has a you know of course the standard cloak reactivation delay reduced to five seconds. So uh, beforehand, the Force Recon ships were the ones that were preferred because they can actually cloak up. And that was the main reason. And uh, the Combat Recon ships, nobody would really ever actually fly them. There's really no benefit to them. They were just like the Force Recon ships. However, they used a different... Uh, in some ships, they use a different type of system... Like uh, the Kaldari, they actually, one of them used the hybrid turrets and the other one used the missile launchers. But uh, anyway, there was real no, really no benefit to using the combat recon ships versus the force recon ships. Uh, now there is, they added the biggest change, they added the ability to be immune to the directional scanner. So if someone's trying to use their D-scan against you, it's not going to work. You're not going to show up on there. And uh, th I, that's apparently a good enough reason that it fluctuated prices enough to make a good profit off of it. So, so here's the curse, which is the combat recon of the Amar. 
And uh, the Pilgrim, it increased, but not as much as the Curse has. Now let's look at Kaldari. Kaldari is kind of slightly different, but the Falcon, of course, has increased. It looks like uh, just above 160 increased to an average of about 195. And the Rook drastically increased. From an average of about, looks like 140 million to just under 200 million and starting to level off now. And looking at Galente, the Arazu, it kind of increased. The Arazu, when you look at Galente, the Arazu is the one that can fit the covert ops, which was popular beforehand. And the, I'm not sure how to say it, Lachesis is the one that is immune to combat to the directional scanner and that one actually surprisingly that one didn't increase as much I guess it's not as popular for Mimitar it's between the the Hugin or the Huggin not sure how to pronounce it which is the combat recon ship it's apparently not as popular in this region that is just like to say this this isn't Jita uh, and oh wow Looks like the rapier is kind of different. I'm looking at the three month range as you, as you can tell, of course. So uh, the Amar ship looks like it in this region has been affected the most. The curse has become quite popular. So let's look a little further into it using the curse as an example. So let's look at the month range. So one thing I want to point out is uh, I, that I did point out in the previous video is that you can you can actually uh, strike rich by paying attention to CCP's releases to their patch notes or uh, what's coming to the next, you know, what's next on the burner, what's next on the next six week release or the release that's next coming up in the next six weeks. So uh, I already kind of bookmarked it here and I'm going to show you real quick. So CCP rise is the, you kind of the team leader who is speaking out on the differences that or the differences the he's telling you in this post what changes to expect from these recon ships he's tackling that ahead of time so uh he as you can tell he posted it december 18th right he showed he spoke about the different changes with the recon ships and uh you can pause it if you want to read them all from here or you can just Follow this link up here or whenever next time you log in, it'll show you and you can just click the patch notes. And he goes through each one explaining which ones he buffed up or what traits he nerfed. Most of them, pretty much everything he buffed up minus the mobility for some of them slightly and, and also the align times and signature radiuses, but little things. But for the most part, they all received a buff. As you can tell from this form post from CCP Rides. Okay, so now that you look at that, the next thing to pay attention to is uh, to, you know, that you already spoke about it being released on the 18th of December, and now all of a sudden, look at the change in prices and demand. The here, let's go back to the three month view for the curse, the combat recon ship. You know, very low volume, always been a less than 100, and it's kind of been fluctuating on and off. And suddenly, it's announced December 18th, right here. Let's look closer, the month view. So there's 16th right here, 16th, 17th, 18th. Suddenly, it, it, this is huge. It just jumps up way above. I can't even estimate. What is that, like 500, maybe 400? between 400 and 500 the volume sold for that day jumps straight up as well as the prices it just starts going up and the average is ever so increasing and it could start it looks like the uh moving average for the five day moving average just crossed the move the 20 day moving average which means it's going to start to stabilize maybe just under about 176 million it looks like you're eyeballing it it'll start to stabilize somewhere around there if you're looking at trends and then it might actually because of the 
the way it crossed the averages from here and here, it might start to decline and stabilize more towards 160 million. But anyway, um, that's one thing I wanted to reiterate about announcements or changes. And uh, CCP is now making these changes every six six weeks. So this is an industrialist uh, like dream come true. So many changes coming through and, uh, you know, you got to figure out, hey, w what's next? Is my, you know, I, I can't start training up for combat or, you know, to create and invent combat recon ships or these other ships next. But eventually my ship might get a, a haul through and, you know, rebalance and suddenly it'll become more popular and I'll start selling more once that you know, once that release comes out, once they start announcing that's going to get buffed. So that's really, really important. You could have easily made hundreds of millions this week just by uh, these past couple weeks, just by paying attention to those uh, dev posts, those dev blogs and what's to come next in the next release. So uh, from now on, uh, start paying attention to those to see if it affects industry uh, if it doesn't affect industry directly, like teams, which that's another thing they did too, by the way, they completely got rid of teams. You cannot use teams anymore, which kind of made my one of my videos obsolete. But anyway, uh, you gotta start paying attention to those more. And if you want to become a very successful industrialist, or at least become rich quicker, so you can afford that next BPO Blueprint Original. So I'm Alec Ray, and thank you for watching. Just like the video if this helped at all or subscribe and comment if you have any questions thanks for watching